jerk. Oh, wait, no, you teleported. No, we don't need that. <laughs> oh, that iron freaking golem just yeeted him into the air. <laughs> Jeez. All right, how's it going, guys? I'm the Kiwi Gamer, and welcome back to All the Mod 6, where in the last episode, we kind of got our spots beat by a dragon and a couple of weird glitch type things going on. I still don't know exactly why the glitch thing happened, but it seems like every so often, if I just take a random piece of damage, I would die. I don't know why it does that, and it's honestly kind of worrying me just a wee bit. I was doing a little bit of testing over here, and I just accidentally threw an Ender Pearl, and it killed me again. But it just immediately got back up. I still don't know what the heck that is. Um, is. I'm kind of scared about it, <laughs> because I really don't know what it is. But you know what? Hopefully, it won't get in the way of what I'm wanting to do for today's episode. Now, before we actually get started with today's episode, I would like to go back and continue to... The comment of the day. I haven't been able to do this for about a week or so because I was having a lot of family things coming up. And I was also in the process of moving, which, by the way, I am actually in myself a brand new apartment. So, um, hopefully I don't disturb the neighbors while making videos. But, you know, I uh, really can't do anything about that. But either way, I do have today's comment pulled up. So thank you very much, Cookies and Cream, for commenting. And they said, if you use a compass on a lodestone, it will always point towards the lodestone. It's good to use to not get lost in the overworld. And I did not know that was a thing. And I know a couple of you guys actually commented on that, uh, explaining that to me. But And I really appreciate that because I actually had no idea what in the world a lodestone is. So thank you guys for that. Now I know what that is. And honestly, those might be of use in the future to us. Instead of just, you know, like, smelting them down in the smelter and getting the netherite out of it. Which I could do. I could always do that. Now, for today's episode, I do know that I mentioned I would probably go try and kill some dragons off screen and try and figure out a way to get, like, more fire protection against the guy. Yeah, I never did that. So, I actually have a different idea today. Somebody in the comments, I'm sorry, but I cannot remember who it off the top of my head, but they mentioned getting a particular sword that will work out rather well. And this sword is called Morgan. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it's called Morgan, but apparently this is like an upgradable sword of some sort. Now, I have no idea how in the world you're actually supposed to get this thing. There's no uh, recipe for it whatsoever. You can make the dagger, which actually really doesn't do much. Uh, but, you know, you could do a couple of things. Uh, there is a knowledge compendium, which I'm assuming is, like, the tutorial for this mod. Because it's the Mahotsukai mod. I don't even know how to pronounce that if I'm doing that correctly. But yeah, it's that mod, so I'm going to go ahead and try and make ourselves the Knowledge Compendium. Because that'll probably give us an idea of how we're actually supposed to get these things. So, I do need uh, some red dye, which should be pretty easy to get. Alright, so I think it just said I needed some red dye, some paper, you know, if I could actually spell it correctly. Uh, paper, and some leather, which I should have, thank you. That was backwards. And there we go. There's the compendium. I don't know. Like I said, I have no idea what in the world's going to be in this thing. I don't know what this mod even is. So, I don't know. We could get some pretty good stuff. At least I hope so. So, okay, cool. This is um, a lot of stuff. What in the world? Huh. Okay, how do I get back? Oh, the Morgan. The wicked this wicked sword is a result of the corruption of the holy sword Caliburn obtained through the murder of a player's best and most loyal friend with the holy sword Caliburn? What? This sword this sword obtains its power not from a mysterious lake, but from killing of innocents. What? Huh. So, where's the... Caliburn? 
Several properties first. First, undead and holy monsters will fear it and attempt to flee. Okay. Sword can... Wait. Sword can smite such monsters with the cooldown. So it's power console. What the heck? How do you make it? What in the world? This is so weird. It doesn't say how to get it. So I don't... I don't know. Okay, so it says that I can make a blood circle on the ground. You can find M to draw a circle of blood on the ground after I take damage. So that didn't do it. Well, then how am I supposed to do that? Because M is for the map. Uh, let me check the controls real quick. Okay, so I had to set it to a different key. Uh, let me see if this works. So right after taking damage. Oh! Well, there we go. Okay, screw off, guy. What in the world? <laughs> Wait, so what even is this? Um. Okay. Mana, depending on the recipe, a cloth, a blood circle, and three power powdered catalysts. What in the world? Gems will store mana for you if you right-click while holding the gems. Spells will automatically draw from any gems of your, of your person. What in the world? So, I need gems. Or catalysts. And there are also spell category. Okay, how do I make the sword? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Let me see with mystical eyes of fey and of fey sight. What? One week later. Okay, so after looking it up for quite a bit, turns out there is actually quite a few things that I need to do first. First, I I'm gonna need a lot of mana. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. And look at that. In the top left corner, right underneath the blue bar, now I have the Maho, which is more mana basically, but for this mod. Now, unfortunately, I don't exactly know how I can get more or, like, how I can do all sorts of different stuff. I'm not entirely sure, but I do know that I should be able to actually get uh, certain items that will allow me to, like, hold it. Yeah, these attuned stuff, which holds the mana for it. So, I need to make a couple of things, uh, which actually seems pretty Pretty easy. Oh. No, yeah, that's actually really easy. Let's go ahead and make a couple real quick just in case. So, give me... Yeah. Uh, wait, am I actually out of gold? I am out of gold. Holy crap. Okay. Well, I need a diamond, so give me that. And this should make the thing? Yes. How I use it? I... Never mind, I know. Okay, so you just right-click and it just automatically stores it. Oh, that's easy. Okay, okay, cool. Because it turns out you actually do need quite a mana for these items. So that's going to be... That's going to be interesting. How to regen more mana? I don't exactly know. But there are ways that you can, which I think may have been from around here. Three hours later. All right, so we kind of have to let our mana regen here real quick. Because we actually have to make a specific little lake which honestly oh wait no 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 i know how to make it okay okay so we need to make the powdered stuff so i need two powdered diamond and a powdered emerald which actually really isn't difficult whatsoever uh except i need to make a hammer which i can do so let's grab that get that out of here throw that in there so i need two of these and i need one of these okay cool so I need to make myself a tiny little lake. That's basically what this is going to be for. Now, I don't know where I should do it. Maybe, like, right over here. Because, honestly, I kind of feel like it would fit into the meadow. The way the color scheme kind of looks. So, I need to make the new symbol thing. So, let's go ahead and do this. Boom. Oh. Boom. There we go. Okay. So, I guess I just right-click on it. To, yeah. And then, boom. Boom. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. 
So it used up the mana. Kind of. I swear I thought this was supposed to be bigger. What? Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a lot bigger. Oh, gee, okay. <laughs> yep, there it goes. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Oh my god. The heck? So I guess it's just like over time it'll grow. And what are these? I see like little weird looking fog things. It's kind of weird. I swear I thought it said it was supposed to be like 30 mana per thing. Oh, that's stupid. Uh, I don't even know what this is, to be entirely honest. Yeah, no, I actually have no idea. Oh, okay, okay. So it says each growth of the lake costs 30 mana. Okay, okay. And this is also where it actually says you can make the Caliburn. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I think I got it. Now, I really wish I had, like, a easier way of getting mana. Because, I mean, this is, like, nothing. It's so freaking slow on the regen. So I really don't know what to do. Okay, okay. So I'm looking at the ley lines, and it says that being near ley line or ley point increases mana regeneration based on the percentage. So... I have to find ley lines? But it says I need the Mystic Eyes of Face Sight. So, how in the world do I even do that? Uh, Mystic Eyes of Face Sight. Okay, okay. A Powdered Eye? It says it drains 100 mana from the caster on use. Oh, that is a lot. Huh. Well, I mean... No, that should be okay. That should be okay. So, I need to make cloth, too, which actually I don't know how to make. Let me see how to do it. Spell cloth. Oh. Well then. Um. I guess I really don't have what I need to make that. Well, crap. So I need gold and purple dye, which I can make from all sorts of different stuff. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I can just make it from this. Okay, okay. So, I need lapis. Give me that lapis. And I think this should work. It should not, apparently. Okay, cool. So, I guess I'm going to go ahead and try and get that stuff sorted out. See if I can get to it. A few moments later. Okay. I think I should have everything now. Yes. Give me that dagger. Now, it actually turns out with this thing, I can hurt myself to make the thing too. Yeah, I can do that easy. So, that's pretty cool. Let's get rid of that. And now I need some wool, which I should have. Or I guess I really don't. Does it have to be white wool? It really does. Are you serious? Can I use bone meal? Please? No, but I can use it to make white dye. Okay, good. Oh, wait a second. I forgot. All right, well, I got to go kill a sheep. Turns out it wasn't ready. All right, give me a sec. All right, sheep, give me your wool. Okay. Is that the only sheep? Nope. There we go. Whoa. Hello. Oh, blue pig? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Oh, God. You actually had a lot of health. Okay. Blue pigs, ironclad, crystals, sabatons of tenacity of latent... God, that is too much. Okay. <laughs> it actually gives me extra hearts, too. That's kind of cool. All right. I'll keep those for now. Okay, so scrolls. Give me those. Spell cloth. Thank you. Throw that back there. And it said I had to lay a cloth down? Yeah. And then I guess I right click, do that. That didn't work. It's supposed to be on the cloth, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, cool. So the mark of the Fey. What did I need? I needed the ender dust, right? Or powdered eye, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can make that easy. One, two, three, thank you. And this should basically be all I need. At least I severely hope so. So, one, two, three. Okay. Um. Well, it did say I need 100 mana. That is a thing. Crap. There's no faster way to reach in mana either. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. Oh, this is going to take a sec. All right, come on. Should do it now? Oh! 
No, there we go. Scroll the Mystic Eyes of Face Sight, Bound of the Kiwi Gamer. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, I guess I should just go ahead and use it? Whoa. What in the world? Hold on. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh. Whoa. So, so this gives me more mana? Well, yeah, change from freaking two mana per second to three, I guess. Okay. And it's already gone. Will it stay? Yes. Okay, okay. So right here, I guess, is the mark for it? Or is it any higher, lower, anything? No, I guess it's about the same. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we're going to go ahead and actually mark this spot. Right, in particular, so that way I can come here for extra mana regen. Now, there is a way that we can do this with, like, a mob farm and something else, but that's going to be a little bit of an issue, at least for now. So, let's go ahead and put this as mana regen. Cool, cool. So, that's actually kind of cool. I mean, yeah, it does regen a lot faster than most other things, so that's nice. Uh, let's go and head on back over here. And, whoa. Whoa. Wait, did this thing finish what it was doing? <gasps> I think it did. Ooh. Nice. Okay. God, that is so weird. You can't see crap while you're in there either. Jeez. Did it give me a potion effect? No. Okay. That is, that is weird. <laughs> All right, well, either way, I need to somehow get, like, a crap ton more mana. I don't know how I'm going to do this exactly. Ah. Uh, maybe I could try doing the blood thing, perhaps? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I could. Mob detector. Because there is a mob duplicator. And a mob crusher. Which we can use. Okay, okay. There's quite a few things we could actually do with this. So, it said we need something. Boundary of Drain Life. Boundary of Drain Life slowly drains health from nearby mobs in a range of 10 for every health drain. Or mana is restored to the caster in that order. Okay, okay. Wait, it drains 5 mana from the caster every 1 second? That was the point. Well, that makes no sense. That makes no sense to me. Hmm. I mean, I could do it. But we would need to make, like, an actual mob-type duplicator. Okay, okay. So I got some work to do, apparently. Alright. So I need to make... Capsulation device, I believe. Yeah. I need to make a mob duplicator and a mob slaughter or a mob crusher. I guess it really doesn't matter which one. Advanced machine for... Whoa. Okay. So that's a thing. So that might be some issues making this. Okay. Well, crap. Okay, yeah. This is what I'm thinking that we're going to actually go ahead and do. So... I need a few things. I need a dissolution chamber, however you make this thing. Pity machine frame, plastic, which you can get from all sorts of stuff. Can you screw off? Freaking slime. Uh, let's go over here, regen real quick. Okay, it said this sleeping regen a lot of mana. That did not work out too well. Anyway, so crap. How do I make the plastic? Can I just make plastic, please? Hello? Uh, get that, that. Okay, so there are lots of different ways I can make plastic. Whoa. You, you matter is in here? I did not know that was in here. Okay, okay. Well then. Is that really the only way? Uh, dry rubber. I, but, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> this is so stupid. There's so many things I need to do. Oh, come on. 
I guess the first thing I got to work on is trying to get that fluid extractor. So let me see if I can get this going. Uh, fluid collector extractor. Power optional? Oh, okay. That's kind of cool, but I need a machine frame and I need stripped wood. I don't think... Oh, no, I could just use any wood. Really, slime? Can you please just screw off, dude? Thank you. Okay. So, redstone. Give me that. Need to make a block of this stuff, so give me that. Then I think we're okay to make it. No. Oh, no, no. I was making the machine frame. Duh. Stupid. Uh, there we go. Give me that. Alright. So, now we need the gold pressure plate. So, let me go ahead and make one of those. There we go. And then, boom. Yeah! There we go. Okay, so fluid extractor. Cool. So, I just have to throw wood in here, and it should work. At least, I really hope so. Right? Wait, progress? What are you doing? What? Okay. Let me let me grab some wood real quick and see if this thing actually works. So give me wood. I'll take that, I guess. Uh slimes, please go away. And then throw this in here. No. Wait, well then what are you supposed to do? Wait, did I do this right? Did I make the right thing? Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, thanks game for making that freaking easy to see. Really? No, it's... Well, it places it automatically in the wrong way. Did it work? Thank you! Okay. So now we should be able to do that. And it should work? Yes! Finally! Thank you! Okay, okay, so we just gotta let this thing go and let it do its thing to be able to actually get the fluid. Right? Uh, throw the bucket in there so that way it can go. Thank you! Jeez! Uh, that was really stupid. I don't know why that took so long just to figure that out. Oh! Oh, hello, illagers. You know? Mmm. You know, I wonder if there's actually anything different with raids now that I think about it. I never gotta try that out, so let's go and get rid of all you guys. <laughs> you guys suck. Give me a look. Give me your bow. Or not. Okay. Hmm. Let me go try the raid in the next episode. We could probably just do that over there, over there. There's plenty of villages around here, to be entirely honest, so... Should be good. Yeah. Also, this thing? Seriously? It is so slow. It is so freaking slow. Oh, come on. I really can't do anything with it. Like, oh my god. It's so slow. Uh, do I need to make more, maybe? And just get, like, a bunch of them? That may not be a bad idea. I wanted to make a speed upgrade, but you need the freaking dissolution chamber, so that's stupid. Ah. You know, I just want to say... I just want to say... We're doing all of this extra crap that really I feel like we don't need to do. Just for a sword. That's it. Just for one measly sword. I love this game. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, you know what? Crap. Okay. I screwed up. All right. I was going to go over here to regen mana faster, but I was stupid. All right. <laughs> Crap. Uh, let's get rid of that guy. Dang it. So a raid's going on. Well, that's great. You know what? Might as well do it now. All right. Come on, guys. Come on. No. Dude, quit, quit running towards the freaking village, please. Thank you. Uh, where's the others? At least it's pretty easy to actually find these guys on the map. Give me you. What was that? Oh, a pillager charm. Okay, cool. Come on. More stuff. I'm ready. Look at all those idiots stuck in there. Jeez. <laughs> they're all just running around in there. God, they're so stupid. Alright. Here's the next group. You stay away from my mine colony stuff, okay? Even though I'm pretty sure they're all already dead. Or not. Oh, we got the witches now. These guys are annoying. Wait, did I get hit with something? Bleeding. Oh, okay. It's probably just from the crossbows. You, get out of here. Ooh, witch's hat. I want that. 
second. Wow. See another witch? Where are you? And is that it? No. You. Get out of here. Cool. Oh. Oh, we actually have an illager riding one of them now. Jeez. <laughs> Good thing I can freaking one hit him. God. <laughs> That looks so freaking weird. Can you come here, please? Let me hit you. Thank you. Oh, you guys are all stuck in the water. Thank you for making my life easier. Oh, no vexes. Oh! I just got a totem of undying. Oh, that's really good. We could use that for a couple other things. Actually, we could use that to get uh, soulbound on the hammer. Oh, that is so good. Can I use this to make anything else? Totem of Unexchange. What? That is very, very weird, but okay. Wow. A lot of stuff. Okay. Oh, there you are. Okay. Ow! Jerk. Oh, wait. No, you teleported. No. We don't need that. <laughs> oh, that iron freaking golem just yeeted him into the air. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, another totem of undying. We got six of those freaking things. Or four, not six. I'm stupid. God, we got so many of those things. And this poor guy took a bad beating. Did I just hear another Vex? I swear I just did. Okay. That's cool, I guess. So now I got the Hero of the Village buff. Which... Honestly, I don't know exactly what it does. Doesn't it just, like, decrease the cost of trades? Isn't that kind of it? Hmm. What about you? What do you got? Ow. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. So, yeah. Decrease trades. That's that's nice. Not bad. All right. Well, you know what? Since this stuff's going on, this is just going to take an absolute long freaking time for this to actually go. So, instead, we're going to go ahead and do something else while that's going. So, we are actually going to go ahead and head ourselves into the other... Um, not this place exactly. I want to find a wasteland, which might be actually the best for this. I really don't know. Ow! Uh, well, you know what, actually, I guess it doesn't matter. I want to see if we can still find ourselves a stage 5 dragon. Now, I did kind of look up a little bit more about this, and it is Y equals 30. It's probably one of the better ways to do this with the Spectral Amulet. So, I'm going to go ahead and toss that on. You know, if these blazes weren't freaking mean, trying to kill me all the time, please go away. Thank you. Okay. So, as long as we keep going, we may be able to find him. I don't know. Especially considering that uh, dragon spawns aren't exactly the best thing in this game, so... I guess we'll just keep going until we find something. Whoa. <gasps> Wait a second. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that what I think that is? Is that a troll? Oh, it is! Oh, come here, troll. I have not seen one yet. I wonder if you have crazy health. Oh, that was close. Oh, hi. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I want to see, I want to see this real quick. You guys aren't helping. Please go away. Okay. Yep, a lot of health, a lot of health. Okay. Well, we found a troll. Not a dragon, but we found a troll. I'm okay with that. Hey, dude. Generation 2 and glowing. Oh, if I hold shift, it actually tells me what effects he has on. That's kind of cool. Come on. You're almost dead. There we go. Now, what did you drop? He dropped his weapon. I saw that. Only 17 damage. I mean, that's not bad, but... Uh, that's it? Nothing special about the trolls? Really? Well, that's, uh... That's, that's kind of upsetting. I was kind of hoping there'd be a little bit more to him. I mean... Oh, well. All right. Well, you know what? I'm kind of having bad luck here. I'm not able to find anything. <sighs> One of these days, I will find a dragon den. Because you can find them in the other. 
I just have to actually find it. Like I said, the spectral amulet will help us, but today, unfortunately, it did not do too much. So, let's go ahead and head on back. All right, well, you know what? I do think I'm actually going to go ahead and end it there for today's episode. Sorry we really didn't get a lot done. I was hoping that we could. I did not think it would take that much effort just to go ahead and try and get that one stupid sword. But, you know, it's... I mean, what can you really do? To be entirely honest. I'm going to try and work on that in the off time. I'm going to see if I can get more mana stored up as much as I can. So hopefully maybe we could try and get it in the next episode or the one after that. I don't really know. But either way, I will also continue trying to search for dragons. Because, you know, I always love finding dragons. And we could really use one, honestly, at some point. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. So that way you guys can catch up on the rest of the series. Also, there is a link to my Discord in the description below if you guys want to join that. It's a place where you guys can all chat amongst yourself and talk about other stuff. Including other games, other... Anything, memes, you know, all those kind of things. So it's pretty freaking cool. So, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. And you all are awesome.